So picking up where we left off, you can see now I have a, um, a link for the keyword getting top ranking in Google, linking to my hub page, which is about getting top ranking in Google. And that hub page then links to my site, which in this case is thematic and article jockey. I, link, I have two links going off of this hub page to two different places. And this link is coming from thematic.wordpress.com. Thematic and uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to create multiple identities. And you're going to have all these different links going in to uh, your different content assets on Hub Pages and Squiddo. And then what you're going to do is take it one step further and you're going to create, these I call child blogs, these remote blogs on WordPress, Vox, LiveJournal, they're free accounts, you can do as many as you want, and I call these child blogs, and these child blogs are the ones that are going to be linking into your hub pages, your squid lenses, and your e articles, and um, you can take this one step further, which I do, and that is create grandchild blogs, create another identity, create another blogging account, Clipmarks account, the whole nine yards, and link the child, the grandchild blog into the child blog, which would be this blog. So I would create another one. Let's say I create another uh, WordPress, uh, you know, uh, SEO software .wordpress.com, and I clip something and link to this location as opposed to linking to my hub page. And then I've got inbound links coming to this post. And you want to do this to the permalinks. And what a permalink is is this is the main page of the blog, but if I click on the title of this post, you can see here that there's actually a page created in my WordPress blog um, specifically for this post. So that's really the URL you want to link to. And so you would create a, a grandchild blog and link with, uh, let's say, the keyword SEO software to this blog, and then this blog in turn links to the hub page. So um, basically all roads are going to be leading into your main sites um, and increasing the link value of all those links. Referring back to the original diagram, so you have these, these uh, hub pages, squid do lenses, easy and articles linking into pages on your site, and then you in turn have links going into those easy and articles, hub pages, and squid do lenses from the child blogs and then the child blogs have links coming into them from grandchild blogs. And you can mix it up. You can have grandchild blogs linking directly to Squiddo and Hub page, uh, Pages. You can uh, have uh, grandchild blogs linking to each other. You can have grandchild blogs linking to child blogs. Um, you know, but you basically want all the links to go in one direction, all things flowing uh, towards uh, your site um, in that direction and not uh, doing a circular linking where you have your child blogs linking back to your grandchild blogs or your hub pages linking to your child blogs. Everything should go in one direction. The question is, how do you keep track of all this? And how do you do this efficiently where it's not sucking up your entire day? And that's where this new software that I created comes in. So I'm going to show that to you in the, uh, the next video.